Hey friends, this is Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. Today I will review another portable multimedia car screen from the famous Lamto brand. This is a 9 inch high definition touchscreen that comes with two cameras, a high definition front as well as a rear parking camera. You can connect your iPhone or your Android mobile for CarPlay or the Android Auto function. Plus, you can mirror your mobile on the screen. So, let's first do the unboxing and then I will connect it with my car and test the performance of this Lamto 9-inch portable multimedia smart car screen. So, please keep watching this video till the end. All right, friends, so this is all we get uh, inside the box. Uh, you get uh, a pad for mounting the bracket. Uh, this is for the bracket that connects the device on the dashboard. So basically you connect the device onto this mounting bracket and then this end uh, kind of sticks to the dashboard. So it sits very nicely on the dashboard and I'll show you how to do that uh, when we test this in my car later on. And these are some more accessories to connect this. So you get an extra adhesive pad. Uh, you get some tools to connect it. You also get the aux cable here. Then you get a 1080p high definition uh, rear view parking camera with this screen. This is a cigarette lighter for power. So you connect this end with the cigarette lighter slot and the other end connects with the screen to power it up. You get uh, another mounting bracket. So you get two mounting brackets. One is that uh, connects the, the device to sit on the dashboard with the adhesive pad and this actually connects with the windshield so this is a suction cup that connects with the windshield and again the other end connects with the the portable screen all right so you also get a very detailed um, user manual in different languages with the images and all instructions on how to connect this with your mobile and then finally you have this uh, Lamto 9-inch uh, portable multimedia screen. Um, it's a very nice uh, weight. It's not uh, very heavy or light. Uh, this is again a 9-inch touchscreen, HD touchscreen. And we'll remove this plastic when we take this out to the car. Um, now, in terms of the connections, uh, looking at the back, uh, now this is the slots to connect the mounting brackets. Uh, you've got a reset button here. This is a built-in speaker and this is a high definition front camera. Um, and now looking at the left, this is where you find all the connections. So you have uh, the connection for uh, the 3.5 mm jack for audio connection. Then you've got the SD memory card to record the footage from the cameras. Uh, then you've got the audio visual. This is where you connect the rear view camera. And then finally a USB-C slot uh, for power. So, so that's it. It's a very simple design. You've got the power button right on top. Um, it's a standard design. You'll find most of the other portable screens in the market like this one, black, squarish, rectangular kind of a design. Uh, it's very lightweight. Now let me take this out, uh, connect it with my car, and then we start testing the performance of this LAM to 9 inch uh, multimedia car screen. So keep watching guys. All right, friends, so I've switched on this Lamto 9-inch uh, portable media car screen. Uh, it took about 5 to 10 seconds for the screen to start and get to the main home page. Now, this is the main home page or the landing page. Uh, I must say it looks very nice. It's quite a decent size of the screen. Um, I generally don't like squarish uh, design uh, layout of the screen. I like the more of the rectangular one, but this also looks quite nice, I must say. Um, you can see the, the screen is quite nice in terms of the color and the brightness. In fact, you can actually go to the brightness section and adjust the brightness. It's uh, slightly more than half, but you can increase it all the way. Uh, but for me, I think this is uh, quite decent. Uh, now, uh, this is a very easy setup, plug and play kind of a device. Uh, you can uh, do this uh, yourself. You just need to connect the power uh, to the cigarette lighter adapter. Um, and as soon as you do that, uh, this switch is on. Now, the other connection that you might do is connect the rear view camera with this. And now I am not going to do that because my car already has a built in rear view camera. Uh, but if you want to do that, uh, it's quite simple. Uh, you just need to connect that uh, at the side and just do a little bit of the wiring on the side uh, and then take the camera all the way back and, and connect it. I would suggest you take it to a professional car accessory shop. They'll do it for, for you in about 30 minutes. Um, but if you know how to do it yourself, you know, it's quite uh, straightforward. 
so guys back to this screen now this is the standard layout let me give you a quick uh, tour of the screen here now you've got the time and date uh, then you've got the home this is the home page uh, you've got the brightness uh, just the brightness of the screen fm transmitter this is to connect the sound from this portable screen to the sound system of your car and i'll show you how to do that in a minute uh, and then you can switch off the screen as well now on the main page you've got these three icons in fact this is your main landing page so you've got three icons here this is dvr this is for the front camera now if you've connected a rear view camera as well so you can go and watch um, the footage from both so now here you can see only the front camera uh, I haven't connected the rear view camera, but if you connect that, you get an option of having a side-by-side -side view of the front as well as the rear view. And, and then within the camera section, you've got all the options of recording, locking, taking pictures, uh, brightness of the footage, and some of the other features as well. I must say the clarity of the front camera is, is very, very nice. In fact, you can see it on the screen now. This is the footage that I've recorded uh, when I was driving around. And as you can see, it's very nice, uh, quite bright, and the colors are also good but the best thing for me is that it's so clear that you can easily read out the number plates on the car and uh, and it gives you a quite a nice wide angle view as well so it captures uh, you know the entire view of the front uh, so quite decent uh, front camera on this uh, portable screen uh, now the next uh, one is the apple carplay this is where you connect the wireless apple carplay wireless android auto uh, you swipe it to the left then you have the playback option this is where you can actually play the recorded footage uh, you've got audio output uh, now audio output basically uh, gives you a few option of, uh, of of getting audio from this screen now you this uh, device comes with very powerful built-in speakers so you are, you have an option of using the built-in speakers itself so you just click on this here and uh, then you can connect it with the Apple CarPlay or the Android Auto and the audio will be connected from there. And then you've got the FM transmission. This is what I usually do. So basically connect the audio from this portable screen to the sound system of my car through the FM transmission. Or if you don't want to do that, if you can actually physically connect the aux audio cable at the side of the screen here and then connect it with the aux uh, port uh, in your car. I would say that's the best, but then you need a physical wiring for that. Uh, now coming back to the main home page, uh, and then finally you've got the settings section. Now within the settings section, you have uh, some important uh, features here. Uh, in fact, the first one is the is resolution, record resolution. So you can set the record resolution. You have 70, 720p plus 720, so front and the rear view camera. So 1080p plus 1080p is both 1080p's. 2.5k which is the front camera on this screen plus 1080p which is the rear view camera that you get with this screen in the box so so i would go with the maximum resolution uh, then you can set a uh, timing of the files that are saved on the sd card so you can select between one so two three and five minutes so after every five minute for example if i've selected three minutes so every three minute recording will be one file uh, and then you can switch on the microphone. So this portable screen comes with built-in microphone and you have a choice of switching it on and off. Uh, there's a reminder to on image mirror so you can uh, mirror the image or flip it, uh, set the date and time, reverse setting. This is quite nice because once you connect the rear view camera, then you can play around with the settings, the assist lines for parking and all. Uh, screen saver, auto dimming, driver position. Now if you have a right hand or a left hand drive car you can set it accordingly here uh, select the language uh, storage information and then we come down to formatting the SD card factory reset and the firmware uh, version so quite a few of the settings option on this portable screen um, now coming back to the main now in order to test the performance uh, in fact I will just test uh, the Apple CarPlay and the Android Auto on this portable screen but before I do that I just want to connect the sound system to the FM transmission um, through the FM transmission to the system of my car so we go here and then we click on uh, FM transmission we select a frequency here this is 100.1 so what we need to do is we just need to make sure that we select the same frequency on the radio system of my car so I'll just click on FM and then go and uh, select 100 
0.1 on the radio system of my car and that is it. So, as soon as I do that uh, the system connects uh, with the, the device and now the audio is linked to the sound system of my car. So, it is a very easy straightforward step. You can also use the built in uh, speakers and, and I'm, I must say they were quite powerful built in speakers on this uh, portable screen. Apple CarPlay. So, click on Apple CarPlay uh, and you get all the instructions on how to connect that. So, you just have to click on this Apple CarPlay icon, confirm the switch and now it will show us all the, uh, the instructions on how to connect this portable screen with the Apple CarPlay. And the steps are quite, it's quite standard, straightforward. So, you just need to go to your um, iPhone, look for the Bluetooth settings, switch on the Bluetooth settings and look for this new device. Uh, it would be T86138. There you go. So, the last one here, click on this, uh, pair the device, allow it to sync contacts and favorites, and then use CarPlay. So, that is it. It is a, a very easy uh, one time uh, setup uh, of your mobile with the screen, and then as soon as you do that, you get to see the home page of uh, Apple CarPlay appearing on the screen. There you go. So, this uh, looks extremely nice. Um, the colors and the brightness are amazing. As you can see, I do not know whether the camera is doing justice in capturing the quality, but I can tell you it looks amazing. It is very, very clear and brightness and the colors are, are nice. In fact, you can increase the brightness if you want. Uh, but this is the main home page of Apple CarPlay. Uh, now, you can use all the different functions and features of Apple CarPlay on this device. Uh, for example, I can also use Siri. Uh, which is for me the best option. So, you do not actually have to click on anything. Uh, so, for example, uh, let us uh, try a Siri. Hey Siri, play some music. All right. And now the sound is linked to the system of my car. And I can use the steering wheel control of my car. There you go. Okay, quite nice. Uh, quite impressed with the sound quality so far. Uh, and it is linked with the sound system of my car. So, do not I do not have to rely on the inbuilt speaker on this device itself. Hey Siri, take me to Dubai Mall. All right. So, as you can see Siri is also working uh, with navigation and uh, navigation is also working. All right. So, Apple CarPlay is working quite nicely on this. Uh, you have got all the functions and features. If you want to know more about the Apple CarPlay uh, system, you can go and watch my other videos where I have uh, kind of explained in detail all the different functions and features of Apple CarPlay. Uh, but what I wanted to test on this portable screen is whether Apple CarPlay is working and it is actually working quite nicely. Uh, I really like the quality and the clarity of the screen I must say. All right. So, now let us uh, test the wireless Android Auto. So, we click on Android Auto here, go to your Android mobile, um, open Bluetooth section, look for this new device uh, as T86, click on it. This will start pairing the device. Now, this is a one time setup. So, you just have to do this uh, once when you switch on and connect your mobile with the screen. And then every time you switch on the car, it automatically connects with your mobile and takes you directly to the home page of uh, wireless Android Auto. There you go. So, very, very quick, takes about probably 5 seconds and takes you to the home page of uh, wireless Android Auto that looks like this. So, this is the main home page or the landing page of Android Auto platform. You have got navigation on the left and you have got media running on the right. You have got some shortcut icons on the left and these dots bottom left takes you to the full view of your navigation. And if you click again, it takes you to the full application view where you can see all the different apps that are available on Android Auto, which are also uh, installed on your mobile and compatible with Android Auto. And uh, in fact, you can go to the settings and uh, change the look and feel, change the wallpaper and the icons. Um, but as you can see, it is quite nice. Again, the quality of the screen, the clarity is quite, uh, quite nice. Um, and um, this is navigation. Navigation uh, looks quite nice. Uh, the screen is uh, responsive again, just like Apple CarPlay. Um, so, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto both are working uh, quite nicely on this device. 
All right, so the other very nice feature on this portable screen is uh, mobile screen mirroring, uh, which is one of my favorite uh, features. So we click on uh, either Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, uh, and we simply go to this area here. Uh, this is where you have all the different connections, so Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, mobile screen mirroring for iPhones, mobile screen mirroring for Android mobiles, and the Bluetooth music. Let's click on Apple CarPlay. This gives you all the instructions on how to connect this portable screen with your mobile for the mobile screen mirroring function, uh, which is quite straightforward. In fact, you just need to go to the Wi-Fi section on your iPhone, look for this CarLink 138, click on this, uh, the password is on the screen. Let me put that here. And we just go to the drop down section and then uh, we will uh, get this smart screen. Click on this and then in a few seconds, uh, the screen of the mobile will be mirrored to the screen there. So it's a very easy, straightforward kind of uh, an option. And I must say, this is definitely one of my favorite options. And now you can see that uh, the mobile screen is mirrored on the screen and uh, it's quite nice and uh, the really nice thing about this is that there is no lag between the two connections so as you can see if i move the screen uh, on my mobile it screens uh, it moves at the same time on the portable screen as well so there is no lag i've uh, tested quite a few of the devices and some of those devices i actually noticed a bit of lag of a second or a split second uh, but as you can see it's uh, totally in sync now let's try to play a YouTube video. All right, so now you can see that uh, I'm playing a video on the YouTube app and uh, that video is mirrored on the main portable screen and uh, absolutely in sync, no lag at all. I honestly love this feature on this portable screen. Uh, now, this is a very uh, you know basic affordable portable screen uh, with just uh, basic features. Uh, so with this mobile screen mirroring, you can actually play anything on your mobile and it will appear on the main screen here. All right, friends, so that's it. Uh, this was a very quick review of this uh, Lamto 9 inch portable car multimedia screen. Um, this is a very basic screen, a very affordable screen. Um, if you don't want all the advanced features, uh, you can go for this one. This is, as I said, very basic and very affordable screen with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, two cameras front and back. Uh, so that's quite nice. Plus, it has this very nice mobile screen uh, mirroring function that uh, allows you to play anything from your mobile to the main screen. So all in all, highly recommended, especially for people who don't have any screen in their cars or if they have a screen in their car, it's a very basic um, screen, not a multimedia screen with uh, very few basic features. So highly recommended for all those people. Uh, so if you like it, if you want to buy this, just go to the link in the description of this video that takes you directly to the homepage or the official store of Lamto where you can buy this very nice 9-inch portable multimedia car screen. So that's it friends. Thanks for watching this video.